Hey everyone out there, welcome to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And I want to talk to you guys today about solar bidding platforms and what I think is going to happen in the near future for these. I think they're going to be rendered useless. And what I mean by that is you have companies like Tesla and a few others that are just transparently putting out there what they're charging per watt. Now, on a comparative level, you know, in years past when solar was four or five, even six dollars a watt, even more in some cases, the ground mounts and whatnot, in years past, this actually made a little bit of sense. But as we get more compression in pricing, the margins compress, there's only going to be uh, a, a handful of, of, of key players that are going to be able to deliver solar pricing and solar installations for you going forward, especially if the ITC does in fact go away. Now, once we go below $2 a watt solar, I do believe the, the energy sage and the pick my solar platforms um, will, be, will, will really have to be rendered to a more of a, of a basic research platform, really. I don't see it as you're going to go on there and try to get, um, you know, one company's charging a dollar ninety six per watt, one to dollar ninety five. Like that's just not worth your time to sit with seven or eight different companies, go through all that, put your information in. It's just going to be easier for companies that do the transparent of pricing and say, you know, look, it, it's, it's this much money per watt. I need this size system and that's it. It's going to be really, really simple. You need batteries. Cool. Check the box. We're going to go ahead and install a couple of batteries. It's really going to be simplified across the board. I feel like with technology coming online, uh, more people using their phones than PCs, I, I feel like this could be a very real thing. And again, I could be wrong. I don't believe that I am though, when you're looking at it strictly from a, a numbers point of view with no emotion. If you're looking at this uh, like as an accountant or any kind of financial person, it really comes down to what's my time worth? I don't wanna sit with all these companies. What's your price? I can go online and see. It, right it kind of removes the need for those platforms so I guess time will really tell um, you know we'll look at that uh, once post uh, ITC we'll revisit this maybe next year when the ITC does drop from 26 to 22 and see what kind of numbers we're looking at uh, not just state by state but a national as a whole and what solar is really coming in at on a retail rate both before and after incentives. Again, those are very limited or, or, or extravagant depending on what part of the country you live in uh, for the incentives. So again, check with your CPA, look for obviously the best pricing, but you wanna look for a great warranty and a company stability and obviously a company that's been doing this for, for a decent amount of time. It's, uh, it's very difficult to remain in the solar industry for more than 18 months to 30 months period. Very few companies are actually able to do that and continue looking forward and still building their company, their brand and their pipelines with all that said. So. I want to take the opportunity to, uh, again, thank my team here at Solar Wolf Energy, and uh, thank you for joining me in another episode of Uncensored Solar TV. Thanks.